Hello, this is Manesh Patel from EIA Capital Group. Today is July 18, 2010, and this is the weekly Ichimoku analysis of the U.S. markets. Before we begin the analysis, go for normal procedures. Here's the disclaimer, uh, basically stating that this presentation is for educational purpose only. We're not soliciting for any trades or making any recommendations at all. All the charts are either in the Think or Swim platform or Trade Station. You do have the ability to use any other charting package you want, but that's what I'm displaying everything in. Here are my contact details. If you don't know anything about Ichimoku, you could go to eiicapital.com and find all the information, all the other websites that are available there for you. Thank you. Okay, let's jump straight into the markets. Let's go look at the ES weekly uh, ES S&P mini futures. That's what we've been engaged in the market by. Uh, here is the weekly and you could see that basically there this is where we're stand basically with a weekly time frame uh, so you could see kind of that last week was a non-eventful week however we did close below the Tinkinson uh, which is kind of key also we got very close to the Cajunson so this pullback seems to be hold uh, pretty much has finished right here and it seems like we're sitting there now going inside the cloud and the key question is going to be is what happens now if you look at the overall sediment the sediment is basically consolidating it's neither bullish nor bearish reason why it's in the cloud however as time goes on and price gets weaker this does have a chance of now starting to go bearish you can see the Kumo future cloud starting to flip hasn't flipped yet but it's starting to the Chicago is also uh, bearish compared to bullish uh, however this is a very very thick cloud so really don't know what's going to happen here. Um, the key value right here is what's going to happen right here at 989. That's kind of a major, major support. So we're going to see what happens here. Uh, price will probably come down here, test it sooner or later. Uh, and at that point, we'll see what happens. So if you look at the prices, uh, these are the key levels right now in a weekly time frame, which is right here. So you're kind of looking at the range of 11.09 to 8.98, sorry, 9.89. That's the range basically for price right now on the weekly time frame. Um, but we got to see what's going to happen. But there is no trend at all right now. The sediment there's neutral too, uh, based on the weekly time frame. If you go to the daily time frame, let's zoom in. You could kind of see the ranges that we put on the weekly time frame, and they match everything here. On the daily time frame, this level right here at 1050 is kind of key to break, to start going lower. We have to sit there and break this level here uh, to go lower uh, to even have a chance to get to 8, 989. If we break that and close below that on a daily basis, there's a high probability we're going to go down here to 1012 and then eventually to 8, 989. Um, of course, the daily looks like it's bearish. Uh, it is uh, the sentiment is bearish uh, it's in a pullback mode it's not yet trending at all uh, so we gotta wait and see what happens on this chart okay uh, let's go look at the Nasdaq futures uh, da, 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 da. they're up here so we'll go find the Nasdaq futures reason why we're looking at the NASDAQ is when we went bullish the NASDAQ was leading a lot of people think the NASDAQ is the index that's going to pretty much lead us out of everything um, we're going to go to the weekly time frame let's go see what is happening there uh, if you look in the weekly time frame the sediment is bullish because the price is above the cloud uh, on a weekly time frame however it's not trending at all in fact it's very very weak bullish um, and the reason why is there's conflict among the Ichimoku indicators, even though the price is above the cloud. So this is more bullish compared to the S&P and the Dow. However, you still not something that you're wanting to trade at all right now. Reason why it's not trending at all. Uh, if you look at the mar uh, levels here, you got a level here, and then you have another level, roughly about here. So it's kind of key to see what happens between those two ranges there for the NASDAQ. Uh, let's go to the daily time frame. 
uh, just like the S&P this the sentiment is bearish uh, however it's still not trending even on the daily time frame and it can't really trend until it gets below this uh, 16 and 98 level um, so you could see that's almost like the level here uh, so it's kind of key to see exactly what happens this week if the markets do go down here and retest this level and break those levels there's a high high probability now that we're going to start trending uh, to the lower side um, doesn't sound too good at all but that's reality uh, we're basically going from the price action from the markets again here are my contact details if you have any questions you can sit there and go to eiicapital.com um, if you like uh, we are going to be uh, actively participating in Twitter uh, a lot more in the future now uh, so you can find us on Twitter at uh, searching for Kumo Trader, K-U-M-O-T-R-A-D-E-R. Thank you.